So if you really want to learn something about MIG aluminum welding, watch this all the way to the end, 11 minutes and 43 seconds. If you're just looking for entertainment, this may not be your video, but enjoy watching it. So we're doing a little aluminum project here. Uh, making a drip pan for the condensation water for an air conditioner in the middle of winter it's like negative five at night and positive two or three during the day but the customer needs to have this right now so we're making this aluminum drip pan I'm going to try to put a picture in here and show you what it looks like when it's done and um, we're just uh, doing a quick and dirty pulse make wire it up get it out the door so I sped this up here I'm folding up the piece that I previously plasma cut out and I'm gonna show you a little bit how this works and how I'm gonna weld this folding this up making all these bends without a real press break so we bent this by hand these slots here open up a little bit it makes a nice outside corner joint and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna weld this outside corner joint up here and trying to get uh, an arc shot as we do so so let's talk about this a little bit you see I sped this all up here what it all takes for me to make an arc shot maybe I'm not the most skilled guy However, I typically do welding for a living. This is how I feed my family. This is what I do. I don't have a YouTube channel for a living, which I don't say there's anything wrong with this, but I've chosen a different career path to do this. And people say, how come you're not making more videos all the time for everybody here? And this is the problem, trying to do all this and trying to show this to everybody and trying to make this happen here it just takes a lot of time it takes in my operation it takes two people and every job that I do it takes six times as long to do stuff with video rather than just doing the job and getting it out the door So the black peppering you saw in the puddle, that is contamination from the plasma cut. Of course, I preach to clean the aluminum, but then when I do this, do as I tell you, don't do as I do. So I just weld over the fresh plasma cut. Then I went back to the machine and made heat adjustments. As you see here, it's way too hot. The problem is that I used a helium mixture. So much for can I use helium mixtures on the mm. aluminum programs? No, oh, you can't, moron. Because this is all this is all uh, dialed in for argon. See how much too hot this was burning? How long that arc was? So the peppering is a lot less. The stick out of the wire is longer. The arc itself is shorter. So reducing the voltage leaving the wire speed the same did some improvements here can we open the garage? not yet, I'm going to top it all a little bit still <laughs> so here we go, the definition of insanity first of all, totally advice resistant not wearing personal protection equipment like the proper respirator rather coughing and then still not changing the helium mixture tank making some more adjustments trying to see if we can't make it work in the end anyways this is a thing that I encounter a lot of times in my career people say I can't figure out what's going on and you see it made some changes it looks a little bit better it still doesn't look the way it's supposed to look but yeah, 
if you look at the front side, the front side doesn't look half bad. Very little soot, nice frost line, not very distinct ripples. The puddle is still a little bit too hot, but I want to say acceptable maybe. But with that machine, a guy should be able to do a lot better than this. As you can see here, the helium argon mixture still does not want to make the metal flow right. Alright, let's cough a couple more times, still no personal protection equipment, and now let's do some rock music and fast forward and see what we got. So for everybody who thought that was it, let's take a close look at this arc shot again here, welding in that half inch NPT pipe, uh, coupling, half coupling, 
So you hear a little crackle in there, and that little crackle almost is an indicator for it being a tiny bit too cold. As you can see, the wire sticks out very long out of the contact tip, and it like almost touches the puddle, but not really. It's not in short circuit, it's still a spray arc, but it's just on the lower end of how cold you want to run that aluminum wire. But you can see there's no excessive spatter flying, so it's just within parameters, but barely. That's where that slight crackle just is coming on. But you can see how nice the arc drives it in there, how nicely the puddle wets out all the way down into the root. So enjoy the slow motion here. I'm going to replay this one more time and look at it real close. So where did it come from that it was a little bit too cold or almost too cold? It came from putting a cold half coupling onto a cool piece of aluminum and the half coupling being a little bit thicker than all the aluminum panels were. I should have improved and upped the Synergic settings just by a little bit, the wire feed and the voltage to be in the right settings or stayed on the hot start a little bit longer.